Art Journalist, this is Natalie from NK Design. In today's video I want to show you how simple it is to make a nice background with acrylic paints. Off camera I have prepped the page with masking tape and gesso by Dina Wakey. Now I have bound this art journal with 300 GSM hot pressed watercolor paper so technically speaking I don't need the gesso for stability but it will help me to move the paint easier around and I will also need less paint. Usually I would heavily edit my videos so that you don't have to watch me paint the entire background but this time I wanted to show you the whole process. I want to show you how many layers I create before I'm happy. As you can see, I'm using a combination of dilution paints and Dinawaki paints. I'm also using gesso to tone down the colors a bit. First, I'm using a brush to apply the paint, and then I'm also using my fingers and a baby wipe to soften the edges. It's fairly hot here down under while I'm filming this, so the paint dries quickly, but the gesso gives me a little bit of leeway. I keep adding colors and gesso with my fingers, blending it until I'm happy. I want the objects that I'm putting on top of the background to really pop, so I'm toning down the background a little bit. I'm using watered down gesso to give it a soft wash. And because I still wasn't happy with the background, I'm adding more paint and gesso. Okay, Nat, seriously, are you done now? For the next step, I have to wait until the paint is completely dry. With a graphite pencil, I have drawn simple flower shapes, but you couldn't see it, so I edited it out. Now I'm using a Pit Artist pen in black to trace the lines. I decide that I find the lines too thin, so I'm using Dina Wakely's Heavy Body Acrylic Paint in Night, by the way, one of my favorite colors, and a little bit of water to thin down the paint, and then I use um, a really fine brush to trace the lines with the paint. And now the fun starts, coloring in the flowers with beautiful bright paints. As you can see, I'm using a combination of the heavy body acrylic paints by Dina Wakely and the scrumptious paints by Delusions. I'm not being too precious about this. In fact, I want to be able to see brush strokes when I'm finished. 
I don't want to clean my brush in water because that would thin down the paints. So instead I'm using a paper towel to clean off the brush in between colors. I like to add white to the colors, so tinting the colors to add some variation. Some of the flowers I found a little bit flat, so I'm adding a second layer. Oh, I certainly love that combination of orange and pink. filling the shapes with color. I'm finished but I've got lots of paint left over. So I grab myself a canvas board and apply some colors to the board. Waste not, want not. This way I have a beautiful background to start with next time. I'm adding my date stamp and you know it, I'm done. I hope you have enjoyed this video, if so please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy arting!